Tran Henry tattoos, I'm gonna show you how to make the best Persian lamb shish kebab. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so I'm gonna do my recipe based on 500 grams of lamb backstrap. So what we're gonna do is make our marinade first. So just into a bowl here, we're gonna start by adding about one teaspoon of salt. To this we'll add half a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of sumac, one tablespoon of lemon juice, about three tablespoons of oil, and we'll add about two heaped tablespoons of Greek style yogurt. Now we're just gonna mix this all together. Get that well combined. Just like that. Next, we're going to bring across one whole brown onion. And guys, we just want to coarsely dice this. Just like that. And we're going to add this straight to our marinade. Just like that. So we'll set that aside now. And I'm just going to bring across one piece of lamb backstrap. Now this one I've weighed at 480 grams, which is pretty much 500. So guys, I'll just cut that through there just to make it easier to work with. First thing you want to do is trim this up. So if you see there's excess fat like this, you just want to trim all that off. If you see any sinew, you want to trim that off as well, because it's not really nice to have that in your mouth. Now you can of course leave this fat on, depending on how you're cooking it. Next, we're just going to chop this up into cubes like that. And what we're going to do is add this straight to our marinade. So the idea of making the marinade first is to make sure all those seasonings are well mixed together before we add our lamb to it. If not, you're going to get some pieces that are salty, some pieces that are peppery, some that are lemony. You'll even get some pieces that just aren't marinated at all. Because all we're going to do is mix this all together. Now at the same time, I'm squeezing it hard to tenderize it, but also to break up these onions and to get all their juices out so it gets into that meat. So all we're going to do now is cover this with some cling wrap and we want to place this into the fridge for at least four hours, preferably overnight for best results, and then we can cook it. Alright guys, so it's time to go ahead and skewer these. So we'll take the cling wrap off. At this point we're going to preheat our grill. Now before we skewer, we'll give this another mix. Just make sure everything's well covered and coated. So in my case, I'm going to put these on my long metal skewers like so. If you don't have this option available, you can put this on bamboo skewers. Or you can even just put them on the grill straight like this. Or pan fry, oven bake, whatever you like. So we're going to go in and um, put pieces that are about the same size onto each skewer like so. Just like that. Now once all the pieces are on, we'll just press between each piece of meat just to leave a little bit of a gap like that. That'll just make sure even cooking. So you can also place the onions that we put in our marinade as well on our skewers. The only reason I add the onions is to give that flavour to our meat, but it also helps break down the meat and tenderise it. So it's up to you if you want to put it on. I prefer not to, completely up to you. And it's also very important when you put the meat on, don't go like this and squash it all together, because there's no room for it to evenly cook. The outside will cook, but all these pieces in the middle, they're not going to cook. So always leave a gap just like that. Alright, so there we have it. We have three skewers in total from 500 grams or 480 I should be precise. So let's move on to our grill. So guys, our grill is on a high temperature right now. I'm gonna reduce it to a medium to high. As you can see, I've already been cooking a tomato and a green chili. That always goes good with kebabs. So we'll shift that to the side for now, because that's almost done. And I'll go ahead and put our skewers straight on. After about 30 seconds, we'll go ahead and flip our skewers. Now what we're doing is sealing the meat, keeping all that flavour inside. And our tomato and chilli is completely done now, so I'm just going to put that to the side to rest now. After another 30 seconds, we'll flip our skewers again. And guys, all we're doing is flipping every 30 seconds until it's cooked all the way through. This will only take about 4-5 to five minutes to get to about a medium cook.
Alright guys, that's looking pretty good now. So we'll just grab one of our skewers. This one here being the biggest piece. It's nice and firm as you can tell. That's cooked to about a medium. So guys, we're going to set that aside and let's go ahead and serve. So just on our plate here, I've got some saffron rice and some meat, onion, radish and a lemon. Now we'll grab our skewer, push down from the top and from the bottom, push all the way off. Once again, push down from the top and from the bottom, push off. We'll add our chili and our grilled tomato as well. And I'm just going to add some melted butter on top of our kebabs. And just how amazing does that look? Okay guys, now my take on Persian lamb shish kebab. That's exactly how I serve it in my restaurant as well, so I'm not hiding any secrets. And you saw how good it looked. Here's the proof. It's melting your mouth. So guys, I'll also point out, this recipe can also be done with mutton. Now mutton is just the older version of a lamb, but almost at half the price. Now by using the lemon juice and the yogurt, they'll actually tenderize the mutton and make it pretty tender. Trust me, you can get good results out of mutton as well. I hope you liked that guys, please like, share and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. I'll see you all next time.